Well, you may know it as the arc lights or the lights on St. Paul, the iconic light display that's been around for nearly 30 years. It's now called the Lights at Ability Point and it's closing, but it's going out with a bang. Cake Savvy Ray is there now with the reason behind the closing and what you can expect if you do plan a visit. Abby. Yes, I'm here surrounded by this beautiful light display. Every single year, more than 100,000 people from Wichita and the surrounding area come and drive their cars to see the lights at Ability Point. It's a longstanding tradition ending this year. They just mean so much because I, I know what goes into putting them up. Pat Leon has been volunteering for more than 15 years, helping to assemble this impressive scene. It takes more than 5,600 man hours to create. It's built 100% by volunteers. A lot of the people that we serve with developmental disabilities are part of that process. They've helped build the displays, put them out. They come to help operate it. So again, I think it makes it very unique. Because the light display is built and operated by folks with disabilities, it offers an opportunity for connection and spreading holiday cheer for all. Lights at Ability Point has been around for 27 years under different names. Originally lights on the lake, then lights on St. Paul and arcs lights. But no matter what you call it, this drive through light display changes almost every year and contains 1.6 million lights. We added this year the tallest Christmas tree that we're aware of in Kansas. It's 85 feet tall. But this year is lights at Ability Points last. After struggling with growing competition, vandalism, and finding volunteers, the lights will turn off permanently on December 28th. It's been a huge tradition for a lot of families, uh, so it's hard to see it kind of come to an end. Uh, but everything kind of has a life cycle and we kind of feel like that's where we're at. And as we continue to grow as an organization, uh, we want to be able to put resources to some new things. You know, coming through here for years, it's a beautiful thing that these people do here at Ability Point. We've always really enjoyed it. It's kind of sad to see it go, but uh, I understand that sometimes things are hard to keep going at for a long time. The good news, this may not be the last Ability Point holiday event. There's also some, some vision about doing another holiday type event this next year. And so we're working with a couple uh, community members on what that might look like that would still involve us as ability point, um, but something that would be something new, fresh and different. It only costs $10 to drive through the light display and 100% of the proceeds go to Ability Point's mission of serving individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Their final day open, spreading holiday spirit will be December 28th, so be sure to check it out before then. Live in West Wichita, Abby Ray, Cake News on your side.